How's it going, everyone? I'm the Solved Dave, and welcome back to the Boogie Mob. Let's move forward, shall we? Ah, oh, boy. Well, I got a picture next to me saying where I'm supposed to be, but uh, this doesn't help. Not there. That bugs me. I'm gonna explore this room a bit. Set of armor, set of armor, set of armor, set of armor. It's on the wall. Unless they are on the battleground, the foolish soldiers shall not move an inch. And lined up in their camps, gladly stay put. Even the gatekeepers will sleep. Oh, okay. I'm gonna assume all these are just soldiers. Yeah, suit of armor, suit of armor, suit of armor, suit of armor. Yeah, the. Okay. Not that room. This one was locked? Yeah, I think I already checked that. Found it. Oh gosh. I'm gonna skip ahead to when I beat this, that way you guys don't have to listen to that. Ah. There we go. Okay, that that uh, that took a bit of time. Okay, I don't want to hear wind right now. I want to be able to actually see something. Gosh. The way this whole thing is organized for me is so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. I don't think I like this. Okay. Nope, nope, the in. Okay. These, these rooms just exist for nothing? No, don't go back in there. What does that say? Yeah, I don't know what that says. Something's underneath the bed. Is that the one I just read? Or is it a different one? That was the same one. This is a different one. Oh my god. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what that says. There's like nothing here. What's the point in these? Inside, put the bed, put the bed, hold on the stool, hold on the stool. What's the point in these rooms? Okay. Richard? You, you just took the words right out of my mouth, David. Apparently not coming from that side. Apparently I could release the lock on the hay. Richard. Keith, David, D do you know where Sophie is? How did you get all the way over here? She's gone? I just looked away for a second and she wasn't there. I, I can't find her anywhere. He, he might have kidnapped her. I hope not. Calm down. Start from the top. Telling such a thoughtful papa just to calm down won't do any good, you know. I'm gonna kick your ass. Where? You. Did you take my daughter? Where's Sophie? Ah, Richard. So scared your daughter will leave this world as soon as you're not looking. 
Just like your wife was robbed from you by a robber's gun. We don't need a reminder of that. What? Don't listen to him, Richard. Your wife was such a cheerful and lively lady, Richard. But the truth is, she was an unbelievable idiot, nope, nope, leaving herself nope, in the nope, care of nope, a useless nope, man nope. like you. No. No. But it must have been a happy death. Just one bang, and she was gone. And what a beloved daughter she left behind. You fawn over her so. A real memento of your dear wife, yes. You're treating Sophie like she's an item boogeyman. But humans do tend to die so easily, as I'm sure you're well aware. So what the heck does that make you? Stop it. Calm down, Richard. Don't listen to a word he says. Oh, poor Richard. Alas, the Grundlers are down to just one Grundler. You're bluffing. I don't believe you. But don't you cry. You'll be the Grundlers again soon. In hell. Don't you dare insult my family. What did you do with Sophie? Give her back this instant. If you even lay a finger on her, I'll... You... You monster! Jeez. Richard, settle down. Well, I guess I'd better go. Cute little Sophie is waiting for me. Excuse me? Let's head back to Lance and Shirley. Why would this be a good idea? I'm so sorry. I never even noticed she was gone. <sighs> I can tell. And where was she? The bathroom. Thought she had to take a piss, but she never came back out. So we busted down the door and she fled the coop. Wow, uh, yeah, that sounds like Sophie. Um, yeah, I'm sure she went in here. She's a little bigger than a dead goldfish. Yeah. Window with iron bars. Even breaking the glass wouldn't let you get out. Okay. That little brat. Surely, you think you can get in the vent above the bathtub? Uh, why don't you try? Way too tight. My shoulders won't even fit. Um, what? She's small enough that she could have, though. You mean Sophie snuck out on her own? Apparently. She couldn't sneak in through the windows. It's a sheer cliff outside. And I checked the rooms for any weird tricks when it first came in. The rim of the bathtub has marks made by heels, and some dust fell from the vent above. Okay. So she must have climbed up on the tub to get in there. That scrawny, <clears throat> delicate girl could easily crawl through. Richard, wait. You can't go alone. Please, let me go. That fiend has Sophie in his grasp. We need to find... Not yet, he doesn't. He's the kind of guy who puts out corpses for show. If he'd caught Sophie, he'd gladly flaunt it, I'm sure. Yeah. He must have overheard Richard looking for Sophie and decided to meddle. We'll find her before he does. Come on, David. Uh, and me too. You stay here. You're out of sorts right now. If you tried anything sudden, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Wait! P please. You must. Find her for me. She's my one and only daughter. After my wife passed away, I couldn't look her in the eye for quite some time. But still, she's grown to be a wonderful girl. She's my pride and joy. If anything happened to her, I'd... 
Oh no, that look. Oh, dude, really? Was that necessary? Sorry. Was that necessary? We'll find her. Just <sighs> wait for us. Okay, a little bit of a pause for a moment. Alright, backtracking time. This is not going to be fun. But it's going to happen anyway, so... Wait. Wait, can I just... I guess not. How do I get on the pipe again? I legitimately don't remember. That wasn't right. Oh god. Now you're making me backtrack to an area I don't even know how to backtrack to. the chapel. What the hell? There's so much backtracking and I don't like it. Wait, I can't... Oh, you're confusing me so much. Oh, this is so con- Why? Nobody likes backtracking. No one. So wait, how do I- Where do I go? You're evil. I'm assuming not this way, but- Ugh, I hate backtracking. I hate it with a burning pad. I wish there was like a map or something you could look at. It's so lost in something like this. And we're here. Freaking heck. Doesn't even make sense. What do you want from me? What the hell? Makes sense, damn it. Jeez. Oh, this is insane. I am literally going everywhere in the building because I'm the worst at backtracking. Screw you, game. Oh, here we go, here we go, okay. Way where you're Richard. Okay, can I go in here now? Thank you. A dot. Tongue in which these slaves speak is so savage. What what century do we live in again? I can't remember even a word. I had the servants translate and type some words for me. You should do well to sell this dictionary to my countrymen. Since it could become so boring around here, I suppose I may as well try to learn. For if they should be saying anything important, impertinent, important ant, out in the fields, I'll set them aflame on the spot. It's one way to pass the time, I suppose. Oh god. Oh god. Um That doesn't look like a fun thing to read. 
means sun, blah, 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 means river, blah, 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 means moon. I'm not going to try to memorize that. Comparing the paper with the diary entry, you get the gist of what it says. Fellow prisoners, we will bear this no more. It is time we stand up against this tyrant. We will fight for our companions laboring on the outside. I have obtained a key that will let us get outside. We wait until night. Enter the garden and join with our fellows in the fields. We will watch vigilantly and take the castle for ourselves. Yeah, I don't really blame you for saying that, boy, but you gotta be careful. I have a bad feeling about that. Oops, crap. I didn't mean to. There we go. The four of us will pass the key from one to another each day in the same order as the song of our people. Uh oh, okay. How about this one? Comparing the paper. My companion, I am to enter the dungeon. It is that tyrant's daughter's mouth to blame. I know that my head will be taken off. Display it outside as a warning. I am sorry that I was unable to hand it off to you. Please be careful. Okay, the hell is it? Is there anything on here? Expenses like shells, there are old cigars and why? That's weird. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, not that one. Let's try it on this one. Something is stuck to the back of the grate. What? Excuse me. I can only think of one door that would be locked as of right now, and it's not over here. Wait. Uh, oh boy. Oh, I can get around. Okay. Never mind. I thought I was stuck. This is the only door I can think of. This is the only door I can think of. Yep. Okay. Well. <laughs> What's down here, pray tell? Okay, well, y you know, you know what? I'm gonna go back here and uh, we're gonna pretend we didn't do that and I'm gonna save this for later. This was a little bit of a doozy of an adventure. Ran into Dickhead again and I really wanna kill him now. However, I'm a prick. I was a prick for doing that to Richard. He's going through what feels like might be a loss. Don't shove someone going through that. We just got a-holes in this game today. <laughs> anyway, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Boogeyman. I'll say it was at least better than the last episode. I didn't like the backtracking, though, but found it pretty quickly, I'd say. If you did like the video, push that like button and somewhere you can't see me anymore. Really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got a suggestion for any other horror games you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out another one I've done prior to this game? I'll have a link to one across my head here. This game, however, will be in the top right hand corner over there. In the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!